What's good guys, in this video we're going to be going over um, Roact again, Roact UI, how to make a uh, one of those like item equip systems that you see in roleplay games, we're going to be making that um, in uh, Roblox Studio using Roact today. So let's just go ahead and get started, alright? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a folder. I'm gonna call this um, components. And I'm going to make, um, I'm gonna add a couple, or just one, we'll just go with one module script right now. I'm just gonna get a module script going. I'm just gonna do main. And then in this module, we're going to require Roact um, require uh, in the located shot. Then local main, we're going to use the Roact.component extend method. And we're going to main function. Well first I'm just gonna return because I always forget to do this so I'm just gonna do it now. Return main. And then we're gonna do function main init and then we're going to a other um, function which is the render method. So we have the render and the init method. Alright and then in the init method, we are going to use, um, we're gonna use uh, self.state equals table, and then we're gonna do equipped. E Just, I suck at spelling, so whatever. And then this is gonna be, I think this is gonna be our only state. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to have that be a variable in our render method. Um, so local equipped self state equipped runner return a, a screen could be a first screen screen by UA. We're going to do a reset. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a holder frame. So I'm going to call this holder equals um, react comment frame um, anchor equals anchor to do. We'll blow this up a little bit so we can see. to do um, position equals then to that from scale point five point five um and size equals then to dot from scale of zero five zero point five. And we're gonna do uh, uh, size string equals enum dot size string dot relative by by um, and then uh, let's see um, now we're gonna here a um, scrolling frame. Um, we can call this items holder. Um, Create element uh, scrolling frame, and then for this we're just gonna do size equals m2 dot from scale one one. And then inside of this, 
we're going to put a um, UI grid layout. All right, so create elements, UI grid layout. Um, and so, yeah. All right, cool. <clears throat> now what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna create an items table right here, and then we're gonna run a for loop. So we will have items. So before I do that, actually, let's just go get some items, like some random items. We're just gonna have an items folder in here, and we're just gonna call it items. And let's go through the toolbox. Um, and just get like, a few items that we can maybe use in the game, okay? So maybe we can use this flashlight. Um, okay, so we have this flashlight in here. Um, all right. So we have a flashlight. Okay, so now we're gonna get a bat. We can just do like two items or maybe like a chainsaw or something like it's not basic. And okay. Jeez, all these scripts. That's a lot of freaking scripts, dude. I'm just checking. Yeah, I feel like this is, um, I don't know. I don't know why all those parts had scripts. That's a little sketch. All right, so we got our chainsaw. Put that in items. All right, so we got a couple items in our items folder. We're gonna get our items folder. So local items equals um, game .replicated wait for child items all right so now we have that um so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna run a for loop right here okay we're gonna go for item in pairs items get children okay do and we're gonna say um, items item item equals Roax.createElement um, text button and uh, yeah, so we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna say uh, text equals item dot name. Um, and so yeah, we're gonna do that and let's see if this even works. And then we're gonna go down here. Let's see, items holder, got that. And then we're gonna say um, items equals row act um, dot create fragment. And then we're gonna go to um, items, yeah. All right, so yeah, and so that's what we just did. We just created a fragment of these. So let's see what happens. But first, we need to get a mounter going. Okay, we need to get a little mounter script going. So local script and starter player scripts. We're first we need to react acquire game dot replicated storage with child react. And then we need to get our main component. So require and, uh, storage wait for child components dot main. And then we're gonna say row act dot mount uh, row act dot row act dot main. main. We're going to game out. Player, 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 player,
All right, so this should work. Let's see if it works. Hopefully it works. Uh, okay, so it works. So as you can see here, you know, we have our little, uh, our chainsaw and then our flashlight. All right, but nothing's working yet. Okay, so nothing's working yet. Here's what we're gonna do now. First things first, we're going to create a button so that we can open and close this just because um, I wanna be able to open and close it. So what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna create um, our open, or actually we're gonna go into our holder here because actually, you don't, you don't need to do that. You just go right here. Open button equals row act. Uh, create element text button and then we're going to create our uh, open button so we're going to say um, actually position we'll just change the position dot from scale uh, 0 0.1 0 0.5 let's just do that and then we'll say um, size from scale uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, let's try that. And then we're gonna say text. Text equals um, items. Items menu, and then what we're gonna do is um, do an event, rowact.events, and it has to be in these little square brackets. Rowact.event.activated equals what we're going to do over here in this init is we're going to create a function. So self dot on items or on open activated equals function. Um, and then we're going to say we're actually going to make another state right here. Enabled equals false. And then we'll do local enabled equals self dot state dot enabled and then we'll go down here to this uh enabled actually no not right here well actually we'll go down here to this holder right here so for the holder for items items okay we're gonna go right here and we're gonna go down to this visible visible equals enabled okay and so what we're gonna do here is on items open, we're gonna say self set state. Um, and then we're gonna say uh, enabled equals not self dot state dot enabled. All right. So we're using the set, we're using the set state method. So basically when we uh, go um, on when we click our open button, it's going to change this state from true if it's false and then to false if it's true. That's what enabled equals not self dot state dot enabled uh, is going to do. Excuse me. So we're now going to go back up here and we're going to say local on open activated equals self dot state dot on open activated okay so now we're gonna say on open activated um and then so now what we're doing here is we're just pretty much connecting our function to the event we're doing row act dot event dot activated so this is the button event for activating the button. So when we activate the button, it's gonna run this function um, on open activated, which is going to use the set state method to change our enabled value. And that's going to determine whether or not our uh, UI is uh, ran, okay? So as you can see, boom. Oh no, it doesn't work. Okay, why doesn't it work? Enabled equals not self dust. Enabled set state. Hmm. Enable. 
enable so top stage are enabled um, hmm I'm just gonna see why this is not working. Enabled. Interesting. Row act dot event dot activated. On open activate. X but row act. Out of ten, got activated. I mean, I don't think that really matters, but I don't know. We're gonna see if that's it. I doubt that's it. Yeah, that's not it. Attempt to index no value. Attempt to index no value. Yeah, that's not it. It's just gonna mix it up. Well, I don't know what actually is happening. So, um, it's not even Prolact. Let's just see if it's going to throw us an error for having a wrong. So yeah, it's not, but maybe I spelled it wrong. Activate. Pretty sure, pretty sure that's it. This is weird. I don't know why this is happening. Um, mouse button. One up. Uh, let's try that. No. I genuinely am so confused. Text button activated. One with an activated. Oh, this is why right here. Okay, yeah. So make sure that uh, you have your variable right. <laughs> oh my god, I'm, not, I'm just gonna leave that up because why not? I mean, it shows you um, that I even go through this stuff all the time, so it's whatever. All right, so uh, yeah, don't feel bad if you guys mess up on your variables um, like I did. But yeah, as you can see, it worked, our button worked. Um, so yeah let's continue i just lost train of thought all right so now what we're gonna do is we are going to um create another function on item on item activated i'm gonna name these i'm gonna name this one but i should have named the other one button as well so it's more clear but whatever equals function and then we're gonna put rbx in here so rbx is just the element basically so rbx stands for the button that we're clicking okay that's what that is reference to we're gonna say local uh, R, uh local item name equals rbx name um equals rbx name and then we're going to say um, self dot or self set state um, function state, uh, and then we're gonna do um, table turn. Well, actually, we're gonna do return. Um, let's, let me see if I can get this right. So return the quit. Actually, no. Let's do this instead. Oops. Did I just do? 
All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say. Local items is equal to self dot state or yeah items. Actually, we're just gonna go to yeah items equipped equals self dot state dot equipped. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say table dot insert items equipped um and we're gonna have item name or we'll just have item right here and then table dot insert we'll say um, and then we'll say let's see, return equipped equals items equipped all right um and then what we're gonna do is we are going to um print we're just gonna print equipped right here so you can see it changing um so we're just gonna print our equipped state right here so you can see it change i don't know why i just said that twice <laughs> but uh yeah as you can see we have zero in our items right now and we also have zero again in our items and then um oh my gosh it's not working okay oh we have to oh my goodness on item activated all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and say on item but activated equals self dot on item but activated I don't know why my auto is going off right now. It's weird. Oh my gosh. All right, just had to get resituated. Um, so now we're gonna go here to our buttons right here, our little button list or whatever, and we're gonna say um, proact dot event dot activated equals um, on what activated all right then now we should have it to where when we click it'll update our, to our table boom as you can see it inserted this to our table and what it's gonna do is it's gonna keep inserting it so this is what we're gonna do so we're gonna go back here and we're gonna say um, if we're gonna say a local found item equals um, items or table dot find items equip table dot find items equipped okay item and then we're gonna say um, if if found item then return okay and so if it finds the item it should return the function it's not going to do anything else um and so it's not going to keep adding it to our uh to our to our table right so as you can see boom 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 we're clicking it now and it's not going to add it to our table and we're clicking no matter how many times we click it it won't add it again to our table so here's Here's what we're gonna do is, um, what we're gonna do is, we are going to, if found item, then um, table dot remove items equipped um, found item right else and then we're actually going to return here return and then we're going to actually do the same return right here we're going to return this okay 
then we're going to return that else we're going to um run this okay all right so if we find the item we're just going to remove it from the table all right and then we're going to update our table with that if we don't find the item then we're going to um add it to the table and that's what we're going to do okay so here here's what it's going to look like in the console oh shoot yeah here you go see it's adding and then it's removing um our item from the equipped um from the equipped uh table that we have in our row act okay and so now the thing is is what we can do here is we can say um local found item equals um table dot find equipped item um and then up here we can have local uh color um, and then we can have default color which is just like uh color equals color three dot new we'll just have like zero five that'll be our default color all right and then if found item then we're gonna change our color color equals color three dot new zero point zero point five Five or just five. I like that purple that I saw. All right. So, so then we're gonna. So basically, if we find the item in our equip table, we're gonna change the color. Okay. And so now what we're gonna do is um, call our background color. So let's do it up here. So background color three equals color all right so now let's see what happens if we um run it as you can see we have that and then oh it didn't change the weird it didn't change the color though if found item print found item we're gonna print found item Nil. Nil twice again. That's weird. Should not be nil. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Table dot find item dot name. Okay. Duh. So yeah, now it'll work. Okay. So there you go. As you can see, and so this just lets us know, like this is just an indicator to say, oh, well, we have, right now, we have chainsaw equipped. We do not have the flashlight equipped. Now we do have the flashlight equipped. Now we unequipped it, unequipped it. So it's just to let us know real quick what we have equipped and what we don't have equipped. So I thought I'd just show you guys that real quick. Um, real quick, if I say real quick another time. Ridiculous. Um, so yeah, let me get rid of this. Or actually, I won't. All right, so then, now we have that right we have our ui system working to where okay um we we have uh you know a design where or a system where um we equip something and it changes the color of the button or whatever we want it to do um it's the same it's all the same logic just depending on whatever you want to do you know um and then now we need it to add it to our um inventory and then also remove it to the inventory. So we need to, for that, we're gonna create a remote uh, remote event. I'm thinking remote, we could do remote function, but I don't think there's any need to do a remote function. So we're just gonna use a remote event. And we're gonna name this, um, we're just gonna name this um, give item and item handler. 
item handle or event. I don't know. It's probably a terrible name. I need to park my laptop. Yeah, so that's probably just a, a nutty name, but whatever, we're gonna rock with it. Um, and so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to server script service and we're gonna add in a script on server script service. First things we need to do is get our event. So local item handler event equals game.replicated wait for child handler event. Then we're gonna say local function on item handler event um we're gonna be getting the player and we also need to be getting the item what we're gonna do is now we're also gonna get items so local items equals game dot replicated wait for child items so what we're gonna do here is we are going to um, basically say um Item. We're gonna say uh, we'll have a bool value just a just a uh, should equip equip should equip. Okay, so should equip is our bool value, and we're gonna be sending that from the client. I'll show you that in a second. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say. Um, I'm losing train of thought. Oh my gosh. Um, we're going to say, first of all, we need local. Uh, well, no, we don't need, actually need to make that. Okay, so we're just going to say if should equip, then um, local item clone equals uh, item item. Um, Clone, we're going to say clone.parent equals player.backpack or item clone. Oh my goodness. Item clone. <laughs> Alright, item clone.parent equals player.backpack, okay? And then we're going to say else um, local. Uh, found item equals uh, equals um, player dot backpack find first child. We need to run find first child because um, we need it to error or, or we don't want it to throw an error if it doesn't exist. So if found item then Um, we're gonna have a uh, found item destroy. And then if it doesn't find the item, it's just not gonna do anything. So then we don't get the errors, okay? Um, and then for this, what we're gonna do is a uh, local found item. I'm just gonna copy this again. There's probably a better way to do this, but I'm just gonna rush it and just copy this over. And we're gonna say if if not found item, then we're gonna run this function, right? There's like a more definitely a more efficient way to probably write all this this little function right here, but it should work anyways. Okay, so let's try it. All right. So, let's equip our first item. Boom. It didn't work. Oh, we need to fire the event. Oh my god, I'm such a goofball. Okay, so let's go over here and fire our event. <laughs> so we need to get our event. So local item handler event equals game.replicated storage wait for child item handler event. Then what we're going to do here is we're going to fire it under these tables, okay? We're just going to be doing this as a item handler event fire server and then we're going to pass in the item and then we're going to pass in if it 
If it finds the item, we're going to do false, so it's going to unequip it. If it doesn't find the item, we're going to do true so that it equips it, okay? So now we're going to do true for this. All right, so let's test this. Let's test this out and see what we are working with. Okay, we didn't get it. It didn't didn't get added to our backpack. Fire server item handler event. Oh, I don't know what this is. I don't know what that was about. It's not working anyways. So let's go back here. And see why it's not working. Um, if should equip. Uh, player item should equip. Okay. Found item should equip is false, right? So if should equip. Yeah, so this should definitely work. Fire server. I am so confused right now. Server script service, so it's in the right place. Let's print that it's. Let's just print our variables, or our arguments that get passed. So that's weird. It's not. It's not. It's setting the states, so it's getting to here. So, like, let's run this. So, right here, what's got here? Got uh, here. So we know that it should be firing. Okay. Um. Got here. Yeah. So it. 100% should be firing. It's not wanting to print this. Oh, we need to connect it. I'm so tripping. I'm just like honestly tripping. I should restart this. Tutorial. That's two things now I'm, I'm tripping on. But whatever. Item handler event. Uh, dot on server event. Connect. Um, on item and whatever then so we're just gonna connect our function boom and that's it and that's now it's gonna work it's gonna be magic it's gonna work now i'm not gonna restart the tutorial but just because um we're all here and okay boom we got the chainsaw and uh i'm equipping it but it's being in workspace so i'm assuming that it's anchored or i don't know why like it's Acting weird. Let's try to do the flashlight. All right, so flashlight works. Um, flashlight works. Boom. And as you can see, like when we unequip these, well, we're able to add some of them, and we're able to still kind of if we're holding it, we now we have two. So here's how you fix that: is um, if not found item, um. You can say for here. Uh -huh. Local. We can just make two. Like this could be actually a backpack item. And then we could have a uh, character item. Okay, so backpack item, backpack item, and we're gonna have character item, uh, player dot character find first child item, and then if character item, then character item. 
destroy. All right. So now it's going to destroy it from both. Okay. So if we equip it, so we equip it. Now I just deleted it from both. Okay. And yeah, so that's how to fix that. Um, boom. And so yeah, that's how you would create a, uh, you know, uh, item system using Roact. Um, if you wanted to make like a role play situation, um, you know, that's pretty much it, guys. I think that's it for this video. That kind of wraps this up. Obviously, you know, you would customize your UI and such, but, um, yeah, you know, if you want some more bootlegged tutorials where I sit there and forget what I'm doing for like 10 to 15 minutes of the tutorial, then come back and watch some more videos. Peace.